Lee Anderson. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, now then, it's uh, Happy St Andrew's Day. I've had haggis, I've had iron brew, and I've had an SNP debate. I can recommend two out of the three any time of day. Since arriving here in 2019, uh, it has always struck me that the party opposite are just a one trick pony, ignoring their own failings in health, education, and the economy to put their own selfish case forward for independence. But they're losing the argument. We know that by the recent polls. So they've adopted a new technique, a new tactic, which is to besmirch the good name of our great Prime Minister. Maybe, maybe, Madam Deputy Speaker, you should tell us where the missing £600,000 is and explain why senior members of their party stood down from the NEC earlier this year. Madam Deputy Speaker, their own MPs are asking difficult questions, yet the leadership remains silent. Maybe, Madam Deputy Speaker, they should apologise to the people of Scotland for the state of their education system, which is failing thousands of Scottish children whilst they bang on about leaving the Union and rejoining the European Union. Maybe, Madam Deputy Speaker, they should explain to the people of Scotland that Despite being in power for 13 years, they have the worst health statistics yeah. in the world. Yeah. Shame. Shame. Quite frankly, Madam Deputy Speaker, they should be ashamed of themselves wasting parliamentary time on a pointless debate that will achieve nothing. And they should explain, Madam Deputy Speaker, why after 13 years Scotland is going backward. Order, Marion Fellows. Can I ask? the honourable member opposite to withdraw the remark about the worst health record in the world. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I want to save him from embarrassment in the press. Uh, I'm sure the um, honourable lady uh, will understand that I'm not responsible for what the honourable gentleman says. I'm sure, uh, order, order. I'm sure that if he feels he has said anything which is incorrect, he will want to correct the record. Lee Anderson. Like a, Thank you, Madam Deputy. Like uh, there might be a slight correction. You're probably talking about the drug deaths in, 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 West, in the oh. Western world, which are the worst in the Western world. Yeah, 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 yeah. What we need to chat about here, Madam Deputy Leader, is, is the leader of the SNP, who has been very quiet about the £270,000 he has rinsed from outside earnings since he was elected to Westminster in 2015. It would take an average worker in Scotland 11 years to earn that sort of money. Oh, yet he hard. stands there every single Wednesday banging on about poverty when his greedy snout is firmly in the trough. And remember, this is on top. No, no, no. no. Um, I think it was made very clear at the beginning of this debate that um, we were going to insult each other. The, the motion is about, is about the conduct of the Prime Minister. So perhaps we could take the temperature down a little. Lee Anderson. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to create, create an argument, and, and my closing comments will actually back up what I'm trying to say now. He's not, Madam Deputy Speaker, he's not even apologised about the drunken, loutish behaviour of his own MPs during a trip to Gibraltar just a few, few weeks ago. They were spotted, staggering around. Uh, the Honourable Gentleman must resume his seat. Um, I, I'm, I think he's straying a long way from the motion in the debate. He is also referring to um, uh, honourable members who I don't know whether here or not, but he would have no should have notified them if he was going to refer to them. Um, I suggest that he um, resumes his speech and just bears in mind those points that I have made.